What's going on, world? It's your man St. Uno back again for another one. Welcome another edition. Welcome to another edition of St. Sunday Sermons, where we dive into my most recent musical release and extract some isms, some jisms, and some wisms. You know what I'm saying? And get that wisdom, not the knowledge. Because you know what I'm saying? Knowledge, they got no lead, so you'll just keep learning, you'll keep reading books, keep always searching for stuff, and you never really, you know what I'm saying, get to a, a real good landing point. You know what I'm saying? There's no lead, you just keep tumbling, tumbling, and needing more, whereas with wisdom, or wisms, or jisms, or isms, that's kind of shit that you can apply to all situations in life, you know what I'm saying, it's wisdom, like, now you got a starting point for whatever situation you're going through, you're wise, you know what I'm saying, you don't got to necessarily, like, if you're wise, you know what I'm saying, you may not know how to cook, but you got certain virtues and principles that apply to life that you just know, okay, you know, what I'm it's like common sense pretty much, like you can apply it, now you pretty much can go into any situation, whether it's cooking, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, drawing, whether it's speaking, whether it's acting, whether it's mathematics, science, anything like that, you don't have like a, a good starting point because you, you, got, you got wisdom, you know what I'm saying, you, you wise, even if you don't have the knowledge that applies to that particular field, you know what I'm saying? When you wise, you're able to learn. You know what I'm saying? You can learn faster and you can just use common sense, which ain't common. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You can make music. You can make songs. You know what I'm saying? You can relate to people. So that's why we extract the isms and wisdoms and jisms on St. Sunday Sermons. Thank you all for tuning into the channel. Thank you all for liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for checking out all my musical releases, my most musical release on all platforms with transracial. Um, still going crazy, run that up. But as far as um, uh, New Music Saturday goes, when I'm dropping music every day on my, on my YouTube, the most recent musical release, you just heard it, and it is entitled Gecko. Taxing on packs. I'm not like that gecko. Gecko, you can't save 15%. No, no, no. You got to pay full price. You pay full price. 
I'm taxing on packs. I'm not like that gecko. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of, uh, that's where the name, that's where the song got its namesake. But, um, as far as the actual lyric that we're going to be diving into, it's more, I'm going to get into a couple of lyrics because they're all kind of, you know what I'm saying, intertwined on a common thread. But the main one that spoke out to me, you know what I'm saying? Because that's really what I, I, I run the tracks. I let, run the track. Remember when it was that whole like EDM phase in like 20, what was that, like 2010, 2011, 2012, when niggas first started running about EDM and Skepta and all that? I don't know if y'all was into that, but run that track. <laughs> that was like a whole thing, 2013, 20, all that shit. Niggas got into that heavy bass shit. But um, yeah, we talking about hip hop on this channel because I'm a hip hop artist. You know what I'm saying? If I had to pick a genre, which I don't like to really be boxed in, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, that's besides the point. So the line that we're going into today is, um, boom, it's in the hook. Stuck to the process. They tried to bypass. But you know how that go, man. You know how that shit go, man. And I love that line. That's the line that jumped out the most to me because um i feel like that's uh a lot of people that's what that's what a lot of people deal with you know what i'm saying in everyday life like that's what like if everybody was okay with the process then everybody would live their dream life but the number one thing that dissuades people from pursuing their dreams and ultimately living their dreams is that they they afraid of that damn process and they and cuz they know Yo, you know it's going to be a minute. You know it's going to take consistency. It's not an overnight thing. Anybody that's successful will tell you. It's not an overnight thing. Um, you got to stay consistent. You got to make habits. You got to have discipline. And you got to do shit over and over and over and over and expect nothing. Expect nothing in return. And just do it for the sake of doing it until it eventually manifests and materializes into something substantial that you can stand on something physical something 3d you took that fire that vision that imagination connected to it that's water then you started telling people about it and say hey guys and then they didn't listen so you started thinking more logically that's more air and he was like all right you know what let me let me do this and then you started then you got hard then you got earth but you only had a little bit of earth you had to like you know what I'm saying? You, you, get, you, you, got, you wanted a mountain, but you only had a molehill. You know what I'm saying? So you had to like gather that little dirt up. And everybody's like, why is this nigga in the ground playing with dirt? What's wrong with this nigga? And you just over there like, just watch, nigga. Just watch. And every day you, you getting more dirt. You getting more dirt. You pawn, and the nigga's like, oh, he's still getting dirt. Damn, he really like playing with dirt. You know what I'm saying? I kind of respect that. And they, some say they start to see a little bit more. That vision that you originally had, I was originally fired. Other people starting to see it, but it ain't really there all the way yet. And then you just keep going. And the next thing you know... You so entrenched to the process, you moving mounds of dirt. You used to only be able to move like a kilo of dirt a day. Now you moving like a hundred kilos of dirt a day. You all swole, you uh, uh. And it's like, this thing is crazy. And the next thing you know, you got a mountain to stand on. But it's like 10 years later and you goddamn got all jaded and tired and you goddamn low key hate the world and shit. But it like, it made you a monster. It made you a monster. It might have made you cold hearted. But it made you a monster. It gave you something to stand on. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody comes to play on a on a mountain that you created. It's like, yeah, it's my mountain, motherfucker. You want to play on this? Five hundred dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? Stone Mountain. They charge niggas to go play at Stone Mountain every. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like the KKK headquarters and shit too. Stone Mountain, Georgia. That's crazy. All them niggas in Stone Mountain, and y'all let goddamn KKK set up shop. On the top of the mountain, that don't make no goddamn sense. But you know, we're not we're not here to talk about that. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's basically what dissuades people from pursuing their dreams. They don't want to get all that. They don't want to turn them. Uh, they don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill. They just want to get to the mountain. You know what I'm saying? They want the little the little shit. I don't know what you call them, but you know when you go to like mountains and shit, it's like you can either climb the mountain or you could take the little ski lift. I, it's not it's not a ski lift, but it might be. That's for like skiing mountains and shit, the little thing that you see. I've never actually been in one in real. I've never gone skiing, but you know, you see them on TV, the little, uh, the little shits you hop in and they take you straight to the top. That's what niggas be wanting, right? Niggas be wanting to bypass that process. That's a, I, I slant rhymed it. Bypass process, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be trying to bypass that process and like it really, like Future said, ain't no way around it. 
It ain't no way around, ain't no way, there ain't no way around that process, man. So, but niggas will try, <laughs> niggas will spend 10 years <laughs> trying to bypass the process. And it's like, at that point, it's like, damn, nigga, you might as well just, you might as well just stuck to the process. Like, you ever seen, like, a criminal or somebody who's, like, these, like, they, they, they come up with the most, like, I was watching Vlad TV one time, and there was this nigga talking about, like, counterfeiting money. And the shit he had to fucking go through to counterfeit the money was so insane and labor intensive and just like out of this world difficult and trial and error it's like damn nigga you could have just started something legitimate you know what i'm saying you you, you spent all that god that he but he just niggas be having it in their mind as they just don't want to deal with that process that's how it is it'd be like bro you be trying to because what, what what happens and that's funny because this made a video i didn't put the video up yet i made it last night i'll put it up this week but i'm kind of talking about the same uh, similar issue where it's like um, people um, they just they don't want to go through th- that that pro- they want to like do they want they want a quick sh- shortcut right but once that shortcut fails and inevitably it does because um, you know what I'm saying if you're not in anything for the right reason you're always going to be looking for external validation and people you know what I'm saying clapping and you know what I'm saying congratulating you in order to get keep doing what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not doing it really because it's what you want to do. You're just doing it because, you know what I'm saying, you want to be, you want to get that stat, that instant status, you know what I'm saying? But inevitably, when people, it might work for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You might think, yeah, I, I got over the process. I ain't had to do all the hard work that so-and-so did. I just, I did it this way, and now I got the instant fame. I got the instant money. I got the instant, but it's going to rot. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's like easy come, easy go. And that shit that you be doing, you know what I'm saying, to try to bypass the process, um, eventually that's not going to sustain you, whether people are either ex- people externally aren't going to give it the validation that you want or you're going to get tired of doing it because it's not what you truly want to do. And eventually you're just going to say, ah, fuck it, and just stop doing that. And then you might go back to your drawing board, but you still don't go and do the process. You still trying to, let me just figure out another shortcut. And then one, two, three, four, five, eight, ten, twelve years go by, you done spent 12 years um, trying your hand at this, trying your hand at this business, trying your hand um, doing doing this thing, doing that thing, and um, all because you thought, oh, well, as long as, because that's what was getting attention, you might have seen somebody in the external world, like, oh, man, that person blew up doing that, well, let me go do that real quick, and then once I do that and get all the, the money and the fame and the, and the accolades and attention and energy that I need from doing that, then I could take that energy and put it into what I really want to do, and it never fucking works. It never works like that. You just end up wasting a whole bunch of time doing a whole bunch of shit you didn't really want to do. And then all that time, you could have just been sticking to the process and, you know what I'm saying, doing shit the straight up way. Now, what is the process? And the process is, like I said, consistency. It's like doing things every day. And a lot of times when it comes to our dreams, our dream life, um, we, we, um, it's not really easily accepted by the world. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, the process a lot of the times is is lonely. It's it's awkward. It's um I know y'all think I probably been bald my entire life, but there was a point in my life where I did have hair, and I had cornrows actually. And this was the back when niggas all niggas had was just Tim, everybody just had Caesars and fades and shit. Wasn't nobody really the long hair wave didn't hit yet. This is like long long fucking time ago, but. I realized something when I grew my hair out. I was like, this is why niggas don't be having braids. In order to get braids, you got to go through the mini fro phase. And and this is before niggas started, you know, because like, the mini fro low-key got popping too. But when, when niggas had the nappy hair and they kind of got like the little spiky mini fro type shit, that kind of got cool. So that, that that's why you got everybody wearing long hair now, because niggas figured out how to finesse the mini, the, the, the nappy mini fro with the little, you know what I'm saying, like the like the early NBA young boy type shit. That's when he had that, you know what I'm saying, when he had the little, that's what niggas was doing, but my hair wasn't that like nappy and shit, so I had like the, the geeky like 70s mini fro, you know what I'm saying, that motherfucker was just like a little circle, you know what I'm saying, and so, because niggas didn't really have that whole, that whole style popping off yet, so I always had the goofy ass circle mini fro, and that was like, trash like you know what i'm saying i wanted to cut my hair so i'm like let me just get a caesar this shit is trash i hate having this goofy ass mini fro 
But eventually it gets long enough that you can braid that motherfucker. And now you got, oh, and all the bitches choosing because you got the, you know what I'm saying? You got the, mm, they're like, damn, I like your braids. I'm like, yeah, I like them too. You know what I'm saying? But that's like, I learned in that whole experience. I'm like, niggas be afraid of the mini fro fade. That's why niggas don't got braids. Everybody want braids. This is back when people actually wanted braids. They're like, niggas want braids, but they don't be trying to go through that mini fro phase. And that's how it is in life. It's like, you know what I'm saying? People don't want to go through the mini fro phase, you know what I'm saying, they want the, they want their locks to be, you know what I'm saying, down to their butt on some, you know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne shit, you know what I'm saying, they want the long locks, they want the crazy design braids, they want to do all this crazy shit with long hair, but they don't be wanting to go through that little awkward in between of having short hair and then having just like the mini fro, you know what I'm saying, I mean, nowadays, niggas is getting weave and shit, it's crazy out here. You see niggas with weave, because they don't be trying to go through that, you know what I'm saying? And then niggas be getting weave in their hair, implants, all kind of shit. This shit is wild. It just shows you how much people be afraid of going through that process, you know what I'm saying? How much they be afraid to do something and it get rejected by the world, it get no validation by the world, it get no love from the world, and it's just like, only reason they doing it is, um, niggas don't, niggas have a problem with, with, uh, we're so lost in the external world, right? We're so... Um, we give the external world so much importance. We give other people so much importance. We give people's opinions so much importance. We give validation so much importance that it's always kind of like a struggle, a battle going on between what we think the world wants from us and what we truly want to do. It's kind of like you're stunning your moon, really. It's like your actions is like, you know what I'm saying, like, the, like what we show the world but that may be like opposing what your moon sign is, you know what I'm saying, what you, how you truly feel, you know what I'm saying, the world that you are truly in. So that can kind of cause that kind of tension. And that's what, a, but we're like, due to like religion, you know what I'm saying, and it's deep too, because I was just on a road and I seen, a, um, you know how like they had the little bulletin boards outside churches. It said, uh, it said sun, but it was short for Sunday. They had the period and it was like sun, period, worship. And they put the time, 9 a.m. or whatever. And I was like, damn, that's deep. Because, you know, they're saying Sunday worship. But at the end of the day, it's like a, it was like a Freudian slip. It's like sun work. Like, that's all um, Christianity. That's how all, all, the, all the religions of the world are. They're really like sun, masculine um, energy worship. You know what I'm saying? Uh, phallic religion type shit where they're like, we're all worshiping the light. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we're all worshiping logic. And the kind of masculine, you know, the cross, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a masculine phallic symbol, you know what I'm saying? So everybody it believes in logic and everybody is following the one true God. It's masculine is singular and feminine is, is plural, you know what I'm saying? So they had the, they couldn't have multiple gods. They couldn't have uh, uh, people, you know what I'm saying? Back when like the witches and sh like the witches were into like moon worship and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So that's like, that's like finding your own internal um, connection to God and shit like that. But then they found it too hard to control a civilization when everybody has like their own unique interpretation of God and everybody's tapping into their own unique gifts and shit and everybody's doing shit outside. It's like, whoa, 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 we need control. We need power. We need to be able to run this land. Y'all got to worship one God. And it was really getting people to worship them, the people, the actual men. But you know what I'm saying? They did like some little weak ass middleman shit where it's like, oh, you're not worshiping us. You're worshiping God, but God cho chose us to tell you um, what's going on. And we've proven it by, you know what I'm saying, our, our phallic weaponry and shit like that and our phallic religion. And we're using our logic to square out bricks and make buildings and erect motherfucking big dicks all over the world. Obelisk and mother look at the Washington Monument. It's just a big dick. You know what I'm saying? Skyscrapers are just big dicks and it's just big dicks running the world. You know what I'm saying? And got everybody, you know what I'm saying, bent over like bitches. And it's like, yeah, we are the one true man. We are the one true God. So it's like sun worship on the thing. I'm like, oh yeah, it is sun worship. It is masculine, phallic religion worship. But um, you got to realize that um, in terms, you, got, you, 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 you can access the divine on your own. You can go internally, you know what I'm saying? Like in the, like in the moon, you know what I'm saying? That's like, the, that's like the dark nature is the internal. You don't have to find God in the external book, in an external temple, in an external word from a man. You know what I'm saying? You can um, really go within and access God that way. And it's not saying we all need to worship the moon either. It's all about equilibrium, but just understanding um, what's going on and tapping into your own gifts 
and then kind of relaying that to the world. You might have to use some masculine energy to make it make sense to other people and to kind of connect because teamwork makes the dream work. But at the end of the day, if you don't have that own internal um, connection to God, you're just going to be doing everything for the external world, which gets back to the point of the video of saying, you know what I'm saying, uh, people don't want to go through that mini fro phase because it's not uh, when they begin to pursue their dreams, they don't get any validation from the external world. And it's like, God damn, people, people need that so much and they rely on it so much. But what ends up happening is the few people who can stick to that process, so that's what the line is, is stuck to the process. They try to bypass, mm, but you know how that go. It's like, you know how that go. Every time people try to, like, it's like built in, like, there ain't no shortcuts. Whenever somebody tries to bypass the process and do shortcut, um, Dolo the Pilot Man, usually he calls it monetary gain. You know what I'm saying? You do shit. It's like, oh, I'm going to go get this money real quick, and then I'm going uh, to put it in my dreams once I got a million made and, uh, that way. But then you get so caught up. In the, in the money and the job and shit that you forget the original reason why you got the job is to fund your dream. And you're just so caught up in getting that money and, you know what I'm saying, the monetary gain that you never actually do what you want to do. And now you crying in a, in a Rolls Royce. But niggas usually don't, e don't even end up getting a Rolls Royce. They just be, you know what I'm saying, crying in a RAV4 type shit. It's like, not, damn, this shit's not worth it. You might as well just stuck to your motherfucking dreams. You know what I'm saying? And the people who do go through that process, right, the people who are able to muster the rejection and muster the isolation and being looked at weird, that's actually energy. People don't understand that they're actually gaining energy in that time period. Um, it's twofold. Like, you're gaining energy um, whenever you, like, because, like, it's attention, right? So whenever you kind of, um, you know, when you're, when you're just fitting in with the world and just doing what everybody else does, you don't, you don't uh, garner any attention. So you don't garner any energy because you're just like everybody else. It's la, 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 la. But then when you go against the grain, and you're not just going against the grain just to be anti, just to do it, but you're, it's, it's you sticking to you do what you truly want to do, and you're going against the grain, you get people looking, whether they act like they're paying attention to you or not, or, you know what I'm saying, they may not actually interact with you. You may feel outcasted, but at the end of the day, people be aware of that. They be like, what the hell, that motherfucker, what they got going on, on that motherfucker's crazy. And the minute they think that, that's you getting energy in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension because they're giving you thought energy, and they would have never thought they go. They see a million other people, and they don't think twice about them because everybody. Yep, they're all in the same program. It's like people in the goddamn Agent Smiths in the Matrix. But the, the minute you start to break outside the Matrix, it's like the it's like the agents. They all start looking at Neo. It's like what the hell? You know what I'm saying? And that's energy. But people, it feels negative. You know what I'm saying? Because we all like to be liked and shit like that. So because we're in human bodies, but at the same time. As if, if you can understand what's going on, you're gathering energy you need, and you need to not feel bad about that and let that kind of bring you down, and then you just end up wasting that energy. No, you need to take that, yeah, y'all motherfuckers don't know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing. And the more you're able to be confident in that, even though other people are looking at you all kind of wild and shit, then now you're transmuting all that energy and you're getting more steam. And it's like I said, you was moving one kilo of dirt, now you're moving 10 kilos of dirt, 100 kilos of their dirt. And this makes, um, you know what I'm saying, building that mountain that much easier. So that's the first fold. And then the two fold is that once you finally do build the mountain, now you have a testimony and you have um, something to tell people that like, uh, let them know, like, you know what I'm saying? Because we all go through this, right? So when people just, when you see like certain celebrities or successful people who are just kind of put in position and they don't really have a real kind of story, you know what I'm saying? No, like, real heart-wrenching story about how they was broke and homeless and went through all this shit just to, and it took them X amount of years, then you don't really, you, those people are kind of like um, used to control the world low-key because it's like, they make you think that like, oh, certain people are just chosen because they were chosen by certain individuals to push certain agendas so people don't tap into their own power, you know what I'm saying? So when you see these people, they make it seem like, oh, the only way you can become successful is to know somebody or to be born into a certain family or to start off rich or to all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, oh, man, well, I don't know anybody. I wasn't born rich. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't have this one talent the way they, uh, 
the way they interpret talent, even though everybody has a talent, but you only think talent can be this kind of thing. And then you, well, I don't have that. Well, I guess I just got to work a job then. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? So that's how they control the world. Cause like, ha ha. Yeah. So we get to pick and choose and put up puppets of who's important, the celebrated blood cells, you know what I'm saying? Inside this being that we live in. And these people get to kind of push our agenda and then everybody else just kind of ends up being sheep thinking that they're worthless and powerless. And then you just, you know what I'm saying? Get money just to pay your bills and keep the lights on and shit. You're not putting it into your own unique talents because you don't have any faith in it. But at the same time, when you have those do select, when you do have those select individuals who stick to the process and they make it to the same, if not better positions as these people who are kind of puppets that are used by the shadow government and shit. And they get to come out and be like, nah, yeah, I did this shit my way. I ate shit for fucking 10 years. You know what I'm saying? I went through hell. I lost everything, but I always have faith in God. And now I'm here. And then other, and then people will be like, whoa, like, I really seen the transformation. Like, you really are. You're not just born into this shit. You weren't just appointed. You didn't just blow up overnight on some shit. And the people who get appointed, they be they be hating these people. They be real jealous because they know they always feel weird about their, they, whether they know it or not, they can kind of feel that they're being used to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying, to kind of push agendas in the world. And they don't even really be that satisfied with the um, with the positions they get. That's that's be the people that don't even you know what I'm saying be rich and miserable and shit like that. But when you really get this shit on your own and you do this shit, you know, and you day by day, dollar by dollar, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is that you're doing, you just built it little by little by little by little until it's something that's completely yours and can't no, no nobody gonna be able to take that away from you. When you just get appointed, you you got now you control. People tell you to do some be at certain places, do certain things, you got to do it because you, you know what I'm saying? You want, you're so addicted to people looking at you as an important person. You got, you fell in so much in love with all that popularity and, you know what I'm saying, glamour and shit. Now they're like, okay, we're going to snatch that shit away from you though because you know you didn't get it on your own. You know we just put you in certain places. So now they use you to push certain agendas and it's like, damn. So these people be mad as fuck when they see somebody with that same amount of influence but they ain't got nobody controlling them because they got it on their own and they be hating. But it's like, nigga, why are you hating? You, I stuck to the process. Your bitch ass could have did it too, but you just wanted to be blow up overnight celebrity on Twister and Kanye Way. I can make you a celebrity overnight. Give you white like Kobe, right? Then Sunday night, throw me, right? The way we mow them, right? I can make you a celebrity overnight. You know what I'm saying? But what she got to do to be a celebrity overnight? That's what they don't tell you on the song. You got to do something strange for a piece of change to become an overnight celebrity, you know what I'm saying? And if you ever piss that nigga off, back to being back to the, to the trenches, back to the gutter for you, Cinderella. So it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be in a position where you listening to Twister and Kanye. Them prompt, they say they can make you a celebrity overnight. That's not the way you want to do it. You want to stick to the process that everybody tries to bypass because that's what really separates the motherfucking boys from the men, the, the women from the girls, you know what I'm saying? It's the people who can go through hell to reach heaven, you know what I'm saying? And people that can stay consistent no matter how they family switching up on them, they friends switching up on them, you know what I'm saying? Them getting no love, them getting rid them pitching their business idea a hundred times and nobody fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of shit that builds real character, you know what I'm saying? Why do we call it character? Because like life is a movie, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't go through that character development, then you don't have you're a boring movie, even if you at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That's the people that get appointed to positions and shit like that. They're not you don't wanna you don't care about their movie because they don't have no story, they don't got no character art, they didn't start from the bottom now they're here you know what i'm saying they just you just seen them one day and they got it all and so man so like you might respect them a little bit because we all so lost in you know what i'm saying money and success and fame and shit like okay yeah that's cool but at the end of the day the people that you really going to genuinely connect with those characters that you develop that you um connect with that got the coolest best movies that you really want to watch be the motherfuckers that went through situations that built character they didn't just you know what I'm saying? Fall into this shit. They were made this shit little by little until they became a motherfucking inspiration. So that's the way you want to do it. And it, it ain't easy. It ain't fast. It ain't glamorous. It ain't sexy. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's small habits that you do every day that accumulate over a lifetime, you know what I'm saying, to something magnificent that you can then show the world. So don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't expect no no support from you know what i'm saying people that you know and shit or you know what i'm saying don't expect you know what i'm saying everybody be oh yeah you're, you're following your dreams you started your business oh yeah don't expect none of, just get that out your head you know what i'm saying that is the process this is the character development 
You got to think long term. You want to be the person 10 years from now that has the, the good story, the good character, the good movie to inspire other people to say, you know what I'm saying? You can really do this shit too if you stick to it and stay 10 toes. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. Let that be your motivation. Not, oh man, nobody liking me right now. Oh man, I ain't making no money right now. I know, man, so and so just went and got that job. They getting stupid bands right now, even though they hate that shit. At least they get to pull up in that whoop whoop. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucking Coiler Ray. Damn man, I might. I kind of want to pull up in that mm too. Shit, man, I might need to. No, that's the devil. Don't listen to that. You can get all this. That's why Currency's my favorite rapper. He got a whole bunch of um, inspiring lines. And what's the one I'm thinking of right now? It's like um. Oh, what is that shit? It's on this, it's on continuance. It's like, um, uh, damn, I can't think of it right now. I had, it just flew out of my mind as soon as I said his name. Um, fuck, what's the line? It's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, you can do it too. No, what is that shit? Hold on. Record label offices, I've been through them. They give you a million, then treat you like a second class citizen. I'm here to tell you, you can be as big as them or even bigger than just cut out the middle, man. It takes heart, it takes smart to take a boss to learn from taking the laws. And I think I, I bit the fuck out of him on that song because I was saying, I, I even got that line. Where I'm like, you got to have brains. You, 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 you Don't get discouraged. You, you got to have courage or something. You got to have a big heart and some brains to match. You got to get smart. That's basically what's anything when you said. It takes hearts. It takes smarts. It takes a boss to learn from taking the loss. But that's my favorite rapper. So, of course, I'm going to buy some shit from him. That's um, that's Cool in the Gang, the last song on Continuance. You know what I'm saying? When he says that shit. But, yes, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm saying right now. You know what I'm saying? Record label offices, I've been through them. You know what I'm saying? He, he done took the shortcuts before in life. Where they're like, oh, what do they do? They give you a million and then treat you like a second class citizen. That's exactly what I'm talking That's why I had to get the line. I knew it. I'm like, I got to get this line. But like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about right now. It's like, yeah, you might get that quick million if you buy signing that shit, but then you were a slave to a motherfucking, you were a slave. You were a second class citizen. You got to do what they tell you to do. Be, and then not to mention all the rituals and witchcraft that you get caught up in inadvertently just by getting down with that system and shit like that. You got motherfuckers being sacrificed and dying and all kind of shit going wrong. And you don't know what the hell. You just a motherfucking tarot card. But it's like, at least I got a mail. Nah, nigga. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You, they give you a million and treat you like a second class citizen. I'm here to tell you, you can't be as big as them. You can be, you can be as big as them. And they be hating that shit when you do get as big as them, but you do it your way. Just cut out the middlemen, you know what I'm saying? Niggas always be looking for a middleman, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to middleman their dreams. They be trying to get the mill and then go pursue their dreams. So it's like, nah, man, you could just, it's not going to work like that. Stop trying to bypass the process, you know what I'm saying? The middleman is not a good thing. Everybody knows, you know what I'm saying? We all listen to rap and watch drug movies or, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. You don't want to fuck with no middleman, you know what I'm saying? You want to get to the source. You want to be motherfucking Frank Lucas. Going down to where, going to fucking Vietnam and getting the poppy seeds, and now you can own, you can set the price, you can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? When you get a middleman, it's like, oh, okay, he can charge whatever he wants. He can say, oh, inflation, and then you know what I'm saying, prices going up. That's no way to, that's no way to do it, man. You want to be the motherfucking plug. You want to be the real deal, McCoy. You don't want to have no middleman. But that takes work. It takes sticking to the process, you know what I'm saying, Become a, a, to become the source energy, you know what I'm saying, and not always relying on other people and shit like that. So that's pretty much um, the ism. I had some more lines I was going to get into, but it was pretty much along that same, you know what I'm saying, you got to have brains, you got to have big heart. You, you got to have faith, you got to have big heart, and some brains to match, you got to get smart. Yeah, it's like you got to have faith in your dreams, you know what I'm saying, you got to have heart. But it's not only heart, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of creatives. Um, they'll get, you know what I'm saying, in order, you, you got brains to match. That's the, that's an important line, actually. And brains to match. You got to get smart. It's like, you can't, because a lot of people hear that, and it's like, oh, yeah, they might re resonate with that, with this sermon a lot on some, like, on some heart shit. It's like, I feel that I'm going uh, to stick to the process. But it's like, you might be doing, you might be doing certain shit every day, and your heart is in what you're doing every day, but at the same time, you got to be smart, too. It's like, all right, so... Yeah, this shit gonna take ten years. Well, not not necessarily exactly ten years, but you just you get what I'm saying. It's gonna take a while, but at the same time, be smart though. Like you don't you don't want to 
take extra long just for the sake of texting taking extra long you want this shit to go fast but you're not gonna sell your soul sell your individuality to make it go fast so it's like it's a gift like don't just be passionate and say yeah i'm doing this i'm sticking to my dreams and then you be broke for motherfucking 100 years talking about oh i live in my dreams well it's like no if you just use some smarts and you know I'm saying you might have be able to kind of use certain opportunities and use certain people in a situations to kind of advance your agenda agenda more. You know, what I'm saying why still but not completely giving your um, giving your sauce away, giving your individuality, selling your soul and shit like that. So it's like you got to you got to be demonic, too. That's the thing. You can't just always be a, be an angel. And you know what I'm saying, oh, I'm going to do everything myself. And just passion is going to take me the love. All we need is love. What was that fucking Bob Dylan or somebody like that? Beatles or something. All we need is love. Nah, you need like you need money, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't let them bullshit you. You need connections, too. You need all this shit in the world but you know you don't want to work for it you want to use it like a bitch you want to goddamn take what you need from it and then apply that to your own so it's not like oh never get a job because i want to chase my dreams no you might you might have been doing shit x amount of time and you need to invest um you want your dreams to make money so you got to invest in your dreams and if you don't got no finance financier or no shit you might need to get a little job for a little bit and, and pimp it out though just always remember your intent behind why you got the job and it's not just you just working because you need to pay bills and shit no you working to put this shit into your dreams and always use that so it's like have brains be logical and shit too and like the the masculine energy isn't all bad i know i was talking about phallic religion and sun worship that don't mean just oh go on your moon i mean go on my internal just make music in my room for 100 years that nobody's ever going to hear and just think because i'm doing what i love it's going to get accepted by the world no that's not what i'm saying either you know what i'm saying you got to have it's like it's both you know what i'm saying sun and moon you know what i'm saying heart and logic you know what i'm saying you got to you got to be an alchemist you got to equilibrium i always talk about it you know what i'm saying so that's that's an important line too you know what i'm saying uh be smart about this shit but at the same time don't be too smart for your own good when you're just looking at everything in the external world like, oh yes i'm going to take the most logical shortcut and do this that and the third and then you 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 just left your heart behind you, you're just doing a whole bunch of shit um and you don't even you're not even into it you're not passionate no more you're not creative no more so you may you know you, know what I'm saying? you might have made all the right connections and done all this shit for people and gotten to the best studios and shit and now they're like okay hop in the studio and, you, and, you, and your song trash because your heart's not in it you know what i'm saying the music is just well that's not gonna last either so you gotta have that balance but um it's gonna take you can you so you can try to speed it it's not you're not just going slow for the sake of going slow of course, everybody wants to get, I get it, you know what I'm saying? Those shortcuts be looking juicy. You be wanting that shit now. And there ain't nothing wrong with making it happen as fast as possible, but just just be easy, though, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go too hard on trying to make it happen now. Um, and if you got to stick to that process for, you know what I'm saying, 10, 15, 20, however long, many years it takes, just be cool with that, you know what I'm saying? But if an opportunity presents itself, and it's a good one, be smart enough to take that motherfucker, too, you know what I'm saying? Don't just be... And motherfucking La La Land talking about you passionate. Nah, man. Niggas need motherfucking cheese out here. So um, that's pretty much it, man. Stuck to the process. They try to bypass. You know how that go. I told you, if you didn't know how it go, you know how. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. You can't bypass the process, man. You got to really... Um, you can't bypass the process and be satisfied. If you if you do, you can fake do it and convince other people of the world. That, yeah, yeah, I, I I bypassed the process, but you know deep down that you didn't. It don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? You want that shit to feel right to you and that shit to look good and sexy to the external world. So the only way to do that is to stick to the motherfucking process. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.